and good morning, church. It is morning. We, we're awake and we're here. Amen. Amen. It's three or four of us are. That's wonderful. All right. Now, uh, we are so glad that you're here today. My name's Jeremy, and I have the privilege of serving as your pastor. And just if you're visiting with us today, thank you so much for taking the time on this beautiful morning to join us for uh, for worship today. I hope that you've grabbed one of the bulletins as you came in. There's a lot of information in here, a lot of different things coming up. Make sure especially that you take advantage of that a calendar that's in there for the month of November. We've got some really, really neat events coming up into the, the Christmas season, and I'm, I'm excited to be able to celebrate some of those with you. So make sure you read through here, familiarize yourself, and if you are visiting with us today, let us know that you're here. There's a little tear-off tab. If you'll just tear that off and fill it out, let us have a little information about you. We would love to know who's been visiting with us and how we can serve you a little bit better. Uh, we do have um, a, a special service today that we're going to learn more about here in just a little bit, but uh, we want to get right into our time of worship together. If you would, would you bow with me as we go to the Lord in prayer? Kind and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you, we praise you, we thank you for the day that you've given us and for the opportunity that we have to come before your throne. And Lord, please remind us that every time we pray, it is because you have given us a privilege and an opportunity. You have invited us into your presence. And so, Lord, we take advantage of that invitation today. We want to come to you. We want to make uh, the name of Jesus proclaimed. We want people to know about the faith that we have and the hope that we have because of him. Uh, Lord, as we gather together today and we lift up our, our voices and we look at your word and we greet one another in fellowship with one another, Lord, we pray that everything we do would bring him glory and honor and praise. For it's in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. Let's sing, church. Sing it out, church. We stand and lift up our hands for the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow down and worship Him. Great, how awesome is he, and together we sing. Everyone sing. Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled. Yeah. 
So as uh, yeah, Brother Jeremy said, we do have a very special service uh, for you here today. We've got Cross Creek with us, and they're going to come up in just a moment and sing for us. Uh, we've got a short video I want to show you. You can have, have a seat for right now. And we've got a short video. This is from, uh, who was at the carnival last weekend, last Saturday? Anybody? Yes, yes. Wonderful, wonderful time. I'm telling you, if you missed it, you missed it because it was a wonderful time. But uh, we've got just a short video to show you. Yeah, you can hit the lights there. So yeah, we got everybody up there. Good. So this is a cross creek. I asked him to, to do uh, to do this song with us. Everybody stand back up. We're gonna sing one more together, and then we're gonna turn it uh, over to them. So this is a uh, this is a Heaven's Jubilee. We're gonna do together. All right, y'all better be putting them hands together. Come on. Some glad morning. We shall see Jesus in the air Coming after you and me Joy is ours to share What rejoicing there will be When the saints shall rise We're here for that jubilee Under in the skies Oh, I'm singing Jubilee, that is just 
heavenly host we began to sing Singing in the Holy Ghost, how the heavens will ring Millions there will join the song, with them we shall be Praise Christ to ages long, who that you believe Let's break it out Oh, I'm singing, oh, I'm shouting you all. Uh, you all can be seated and uh, let's give a big hand for Cross Creek as we welcome them to the stage here. Y'all are in for a big blessing this morning. And uh, somebody's uh, car is being stolen, but that's okay. Stay seated. It'll be all right. Has anybody seen my wife? She's bad about doing stuff like that. Oh, there she is. Okay. She's got sticky fingers. <laughs> no. Good morning, church. We're so happy to be here with y'all. I'm already warmed up. I'm ready to go, right? That's a good song. Hell, stay calm, my dear children. Oh, stay calm, my dear son. One of these days, I'm going to see you. Just stay calm, we're coming home. Well, I've been watching and I've been seeing my people praying all the day. I've been sending my sweet spirit to give them a better way. So stay calm, my dear children. Oh, stay calm, my dear son. One of these days, I'm going to see you. Just stay calm, we're coming home. Well, mom and daddy, we've been well in. Work till sundown, really takes a toll. Brother and sister, raised by strength. Drink and drug, try to take their soul. So stay calm, my dear children. Oh, stay calm, my dear son. One of these days, I'm gonna see you. Just stay calm, we're coming home. Gotta get my Bible, knock the dust off, find an altar, and take a knee. Get the elder, hey, get my preacher, little revival's what I need. And stay calm, my dear children, oh, stay calm, my dear son. One of these days, I'm going to see you, just stay calm, we're coming home. Steph. Hayden. 
can't stay calm my dear children oh stay calm my dear son one of these days i'm going to see you just stay calm coming home and stay calm and stay calm we're coming home All right. Ah, that wasn't too bad, huh? Uh, I just want to take time. Uh, we're at Cross Creek, and uh, I know most of you know me, and my name's Nathan, but I was going to introduce the band. We got Dale Walker on the bass. Amen. And he's from uh, Monterey? Crossfield. Crossfield. I get that mixed up. We got Hayden Peters. He's going to play uh, guitar, mandolin, and dobro and sing today for you. You're going to like him. He's from Monterey. Got Jerry Cooper. He's from uh, Crossville. <laughs> and he plays, uh, he plays sing, singer-songwriter. He's going to do some songs today that he wrote. It's really good. He's a really good writer. We got Stephanie Moslin on the uh, fiddle. Amen. <laughs> and we got Marty Cantrell. He's going to play guitar, and he's going to play some banjo here in a minute. So you're going to like him. We're going to do an old one called uh, I'll Fly Away. If y'all want to stand up and clap and sing along, we kind of just uh, brought this on the group. They don't even know this yet, but uh, Hayden's going to do that song for us. Seemed like I remember the last time we was here, there wasn't nobody sitting up on this front. I thought y'all would have got rid of that spitting preacher. <laughs> is he still here? Looks like. I mean, I. Is he the same one was here? Was here before? No. He's not? Well, I, I, he, he, they ought to start 
moving towards the front a little bit. It may make, uh, new grips may scare y'all, I guess. <laughs> we don't bust our guitars or anything. We like them too well. We appreciate you letting us come. And I am going to a city where the streets are golden laid, where the tree of life is blue. Soon there 
We're, we're going to let you play on this one. All right, good. Get, get your strings. Wipe your strings off. This is a song that uh, Jerry wrote. We all love it a lot. Uh, he's played it a lot. It's been on the radio. Uh, it's been on King to Kings. If you listen to King Kings radio, it's called uh, Walking on the Clouds.
We shall sing on that beautiful shore The melodious songs of the blessed And our spirit shall sorrow no Admit, hit more times like that. <laughs> to be well known of man, I may not ever be. I'm sure my name. Oh 
did sing in that book of life Goodbye the Lord It's in that book of life Goodbye the Lord Hayden Peters Hayden started singing with us when he was 14 years old. He's 16 now, just started driving, so he's doing pretty good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm going to do an old song. I'm going to try to get this going. Here. It's called Wayfaring Stranger. stranger traveling through this world of woe yet there's no day no danger in that bright land to which I go I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm only going when over Jordan. I'm only going. No dark clouds gathered o'er me. I know my way is rough and steep, yet beauty is filled. They just be for me. I'm going there to see my mother. She said she'd meet me when I come. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going. to wear a crowning glory when I get home to that good land I want to shout salvation story 
concert with the blood wash band. I'm going there to see my Savior, to sing His praise forevermore. I'm on training with him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Marty, you ready for this banjo? Y'all ready for some banjo? I, I mean... Uh, yeah. yeah, come on, let's stand up. Stand up. Banjo. We're going to we don't want you to we're fall get somewhere with this. <clears throat> Let me get it in tune. It was in tune when I bought it. <laughs> tune that drum.
I seen you. I seen you trying. I need to do that a little more. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I've got a fan in here. I'll sign autographs here to me. One fan. <laughs> Here's a song I wrote, it's called I'm Rejoicing. I'm rejoicing, my Savior set me free, and I'm rejoicing. My Savior set me free. Now my sin, it don't hate me. Says Jesus, fill my heart with love. Now I went down to pray. My Savior set me free. Now I went down to pray. My Savior set me free. Now my sin, it don't hate me. Says Jesus, fill my heart with love. Sisters, my Savior set me free. Now I got brothers and sisters, my Savior set me free. Now my sin, it don't anchor me. Says Jesus, fill my whole heart with love. Come on, Hayden. Come on, banjo. Sisters, my Savior set me free. I got brothers and sisters, my Savior set me free. Now my sin, it don't anchor me. Says Jesus, fill my whole heart with love. Come on, Jerry. Savior set me free, and I'm rejoicing. My Savior set me free. Now my sin, it don't anchor me. Since Jesus feel my whole heart with love. Since Jesus feel my whole heart with love. Since Jesus feel my We're going to close out here with with a last song uh, called Welcome Home. It's a song we all love a lot. If you know it, sing along. Jerry could use the help. Well, he gets a little tired toward the end, so yeah, I, get run down a little I bit. try to help him out. I might start writing slow songs. <laughs> You know, guys, this song's about welcome home. If you don't know the Lord, you don't know him in your heart, you're not saved, you're not going to get to sit, hear those words, welcome home. Come on in. You're not going to get to hear that. So today would be a good day. Today is your day if you don't know the Lord. If you don't know him, get to know him. I'm sure this preacher and these other people right here come pray with you. If you don't know him, please get to know him because we need to hear this. We all in this room. 
There's a day just out in front of us I know will surely come When that eastern sky opens wide Revealing God's dear Son And I know from here the heaven Is just a blinking of a night Welcome home I knew you'd come Welcome home You're here for good Look around Was it worth the way Welcome home Through the gate, and I believe, at least for me, I'll see my mom and dad, and my brothers and my sisters. Everywhere you look, a friend. Oh, the meeting will be precious with the one. I love so dear And no mortal I will ever see Or hear what we will hear Welcome home I knew you'd come Welcome home You're here for good Look around Was it worth the way? Welcome home Step through the gate Just look around Was it worth the way? Welcome home Brother Jerry. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Brother Nathan. Appreciate it. Thank you, Cross Creek, for being with us, church. Don't you appreciate them being with us today? What a, what a blessing to have them come and to minister to us with their gifts and their talents. And I know what some of you are, are worried about. Um, I've been told I've only got 45 minutes to preach. <laughs> no, uh, we've heard, we've heard the, the word in song today. And so one of the things that I always want to ask us when we've been together to worship is how do we respond to the time of worship that we've had. How do we respond to that? And I believe that anytime we're together and we're worshiping the Lord, either through studying his word or through lifting up his praise or singing songs of hope, I believe that we can and should be ministered to by the Holy Spirit. And it could be that in this moment, uh, you, you're being convinced that you need a relationship with, with God, and that's only made possible through the person and work of Jesus Christ. And so we want to give you that opportunity to, to receive that today. Uh, maybe it's not so much you're being convinced that you can and should have a relationship, but maybe you're being convicted because your relationship with God doesn't, doesn't quite look the way that it should. And we want to give you an opportunity right now to, to confess and to repent and to work on restoration 
restoration, uh, we know that the Lord forgives if we're just honest with ourselves and with him to confess those sins and repent of them. He'll forgive us and he'll welcome us back. And so uh, maybe it's not so much that you're being convinced that you need that relationship or convicted that you should seek restoration in that relationship. Maybe in this moment uh, you're being challenged. Maybe in this moment you you need to leave here and you need to take that next step in that Christward direction, whatever that looks like in your life, whatever the Lord's calling you to do and, and uh, saying, hey, listen, I want you to, to undertake this. I want you to follow me in this way. Um, maybe today you just... You hear that last song and you hear those, those words and you just find comfort and peace in the promise that we have that in the end, we know how it turns out. In the end, we know who wins. In the end, we can spend eternity rejoicing with him. So no matter whether you're being convinced or convicted or, or challenged or comforted, I believe each and every one of us can be and should be changed. And so I just want to read a real real short text that uh, that kind of highlights this for me and in, in, in my life. It's something I try to remind myself of. It's in Mark. In Mark chapter 1, verses 16 and 17, this is what we read. Passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea. For they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. Now, I want to I stop right there because a lot of times when we think about this, we think we go straight to sharing the gospel. We go straight to evangelism. We, we go straight to the concept of being a fisher of men. But I want you to, to just stop, and I want you to really focus in on the words of Jesus. You can't become a fisher of men which is his end goal for these, these disciples and the disciples that come after him when he gives us the Great Commission. You know, the, the Great Commission is at the end of all four Gospels in some capacity and at the beginning of the book of Acts. You can't escape it in the New Testament. But you can't get to it if you skip to the end of what Jesus is saying here. He starts with the words, follow me. And the words follow me are really simple in English, but in the Greek, there's actually three words that he gives us. And the first one means that we have to actually come to him. It says, he, he's saying, come to me, and when you get to me, get behind me. And the word that's, that's translated here is follow me, the come to me, and then the second word, the get behind me. It means that we have to intentionally answer the call of Jesus to come to him, and then we have to purposefully and humbly make him the one we follow. Not a church or a stance or a thought or, or, or anything like that. We're to intentionally come to him, recognizing that we need him, that we must obey him, and then once we arrive at him, we fall in line behind him, because he's the only one that can really make the way for us to go. And then after that, he says, I will make you to become. The word that he translates here is genesimai. And, and it means to become something that you're not. Uh, because what, what's needed to become that thing doesn't exist in you. But it will be added or given to you so that you can become something. Right? So I just want you to understand you may feel like, well, I just don't think I'm a very good follower of Jesus. I just, I don't think I'm a very good Christian sometimes. I don't think I'm a very good evangelist sometimes, or I don't think I share the gospel really good sometimes. You don't. But he's making you better. Every day you walk with him. And so as we get ready to leave here today, we want to give you the opportunity to respond, to answer the call, to, to come to him to follow him, and to let him become changing you as you take one step at a time behind him each and every day. So Brother Caleb's going to come, and he's going to close us out. And as he does that, I just want us to take a, a second to, to pray, if you would. Would you just stand with me as we bow and, and go to the Lord right now? Father God, we are so grateful today that you... You don't give us some impossible task that we have to fulfill in and of ourselves, Lord, but you invite us into a process that you are going to oversee, that you are going to complete, and all we have to do is be willing and be near you. God, we thank you for the gifts that you've given to the musicians that came and shared with us today, to the ministry that they've had in our lives in this moment. And, and so, Father, we just pray that right now, 
all things, all things would work to encourage us and to strengthen us as we come to you, as we fall behind you, as we walk with you day after day. Lord, change us. Help us to become the men and the women that you desire us to be, that you're calling us to be, because we can't do that in and of ourselves, Father. But we know that you are faithful and true, that you can change us and transform us, and that's the hope of the gospel that we have in Jesus Christ. For it's in his name we pray, amen.